How's it going, everyone? My name is Top Cap Gaming, and all I can say is, yes, it is finally time that TF2 receives a major update such as this, the Gunmetal update. Wow. All I can say is, Valve, you've outdone yourself, and I was kind of expecting the Spy versus Engineer, but nevertheless, this is a nice step towards that next update. And the only issue that I've had with this update so far is the fact that it was released while I was at Anime Expo. So, I have not been able to play the update at all until now. And based on what I've uh, seen so far, man, this update is outstanding. Standing. And yeah, so now I got to cover what this update has to offer. But before I do that, I just want to quickly mention my thoughts about what the up next update was going to be. Now, a few months ago, expecting there to be an update released sometime this summer, I theorized that there was going to be either competitive matchmaking, contracts, new balances, and new weapons implemented into TF2. And then aside for the uh, given new hats and misks, I figured those were going to be implemented anyways. But it's quite a shock to see that Valve did not put in new hats for this update. I think they're actually beginning to listen to the community now. Is it possible? I don't know, but I'm keeping my fingers crossed to hope that they are. And yeah, uh... Other than that, I, based on what I expected, the two out of the four uh, from my list were implemented, being the contracts and the balances. So I gotta say, this is definitely looking really good. Now, finally, to the update itself. I'm just going to give a quick rundown as to what this update has to offer. If you want to read more, click in the link in the description. That will lead you to the official Team Fortress 2 website in which it covers the gunmetal update and what it has to offer. So, what's included in this update? First, contracts. You buy a pass to get access to two contracts per week, and each contract you have to earn points for the contract based on what the contract requires. And then once you've earned enough points, you can turn in the contract to have a chance to earn either a weapon skin from the contract itself, or be given a weapon case. Now, there are four skin groups. There's the Two Fort Craftsman, Concealed Killer, and Powerhouse. And skins you get from the contracts themselves are the Two Fort and Craftsman collection, and the skins you get from the cases are the Concealed Killer and the Powerhouse. Now, all skins have a chance to have a wear from Factory New to Battle Scards, and you have a rare chance of getting either a strange stat clock on them, which keeps tracks of the amount of kills with a little uh, clock meter on it, and an even rarer chance for the gun to have an unusual effect. Uh, but moving on from that, there are four new maps in this update. One Valve made map, which is a three point capture map called Powerhouse. I can expect there to be some pretty nice quick uh, capture point gameplay on this one, so I'm looking forward to it. And then three community made maps are now official maps in TF2 servers. Payload Borneo, uh, King of the Hill Suinji, and finally Capture Point Snowplow. Finally Valve made this an official map. They should have just put this in the end of the line update, but no, it was too confusing for new players. And yet CP Steel is still around. But nevertheless, Valve, you're off the hook until you mess up the Spy vs. Engineer update, which you better don't. The next major point is weapon balances. Now, holy crap, there are over 40 weapons that have been balanced and or eroded. And the most noted amongst all the weapons are the Lock and Load, the Gunslinger, and the Dead Ringer. The Lock and Load's uh, extra damage is only affected towards enemy buildings. The Gunslinger's mini sentry has been completely eroded, so it now uh, starts off with half health and takes a little bit longer to build. But on the other side, you can repair the, the mini sentry. And yeah, considering this uh, cha big change, a lot of people think it's either a buff or a nerf. Personally, I think it's a nerf. You can't spam mini sentries as much anymore, but on the plus side, they're a little bit reliable now as a defensive means. And then finally, the Dead Ringer. The Dead Ringer's 
been nerfed quite a bit, so you can expect to see uh, less people using the Dead Ringer and more people using the Invis Watch. But if you want to see the full list of weapons that have been changed and everything that has been changed about those weapons, uh, be sure to click the link down in the description below. Now, moving on from weapon balances, we have in-game changes. You can now pick up weapons that are on the ground. Uh, you can switch your current weapon for a dropped weapon of the similar class and loadout slot. So, if you're a demo man and you kill someone with the Ulpul Kaber, such as another demo man, and that demo man drops an Eyelander, you can drop your Ulpul Kaber and pick up his weapon. Bodies will now drop medium ammo packs, considering that you can no longer collect ammo from dropped weapons. And speaking more about weapons, you can expect your weapons now. Now, apparently this is only for, or I assume only for the, the, the weapon skins that come from the contracts and the new cases, but nevertheless it's another feature that they kind of took out from CSGO and put into TF2. Um, yeah, so not really much to talk about that. And then finally, the last little tidbit of news is new taunts. There's a taunt for the Heavy, the Spy, and an all-class taunt. The Heavy has a, a muscle flexing taunt, the Spy has a cardboard box that he hides in and can walk around with, and an all-class, uh, the Russian dance taunt. I, I don't know the exact name for it, but it's an all-class, uh, all-class, and it looks kind of weird. But, yeah, so that's pretty much the entire update uh, wrapped up in a short little cover video. So, if you like this update, be sure to leave a like. If you have any comments or uh, notes that I forgot maybe some important features for this update, be sure to leave them in the comments below. If you like what you've listened to so far, be sure to subscribe to the channel for further TF2 videos. And other than that, my name is Topcat Gaming. I'm going to start some contracts and uh, probably record them too and release them in another video. And yeah, I look forward to seeing you all uh, play this new update. And yeah, uh, I guess I'll just see you later then. Alright, bye.